So hey everyone, it's Emma here from the Martin Success Summit and today I'm absolutely thrilled to have Supi Zimmerman on again, helping us with our Instagram and helping us to leverage Instagram, which I really feel is kind of underutilized in business. So delighted to have you here again, Sue, and thank you so, so much for coming on board again. Hey, you're so welcome. And how do I sound? Sound good? Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty good. I, I like your mic. <laughs> very, very nice. <laughs> so yeah, so just to remind people that don't know Sue, um, Sue is based in the States in Boston and she is a terrific lady in terms of, and I actually, I was just listening to something you, you shared with me the other day. And I, you were saying you had 19 businesses. Is that right? 18. 18 even. It's just amazing. So, I mean, you really have a fantastic business background, which I think is awesome. And I think you're leveraging that through Instagram, which is amazing as well. Um, you've been an entrepreneur for so many years, 22 years, um, a leader in the Instagram marketing field. Um, you have your own Instagram courses, which I'd like you to tell people about maybe at the end or even through the presentation. So people know what the next step is towards working and having a better Instagram um, account. So what I'll do is I'll pass it over to you, Sue, and I'll let you weave your magic and help people and show people how to leverage Instagram for their business. Perfect, can you see my screen? I can indeed. Awesome, so what you're looking at is my business account, the Instagram expert. And you know it's a business account because you can see the bars next to the name on the right-hand side. And for anyone that does not know how to change their personal account to a business account. I wrote a blog post that Darcy can link up uh, in the show notes about four weeks ago, how to do that. But I'm gonna just show you some insights so that you understand if you're here on Instagram for business, you really need to have a business account. One that is very niche specific in what you do and who you wanna serve. So as you can see, this is all about Instagram marketing. And I have a community hashtag for people that purchase my course, Ready, Set, Graham, people use that hashtag and we are all connected through that hashtag. We can talk about that in a little bit. Also, I share Instagram updates, tools, tactics, and news. You know that it's happened here first uh, on my account. If you want to follow the Instagram expert to get updates, that's right here. Um, I share that as well. And when you look at this account, it's very clear what I do and you want to make sure that it's clear, that it's concise and that it's really, because you have three to six seconds, that's it, to get someone's attention when they land on your account. And if it's not obvious with what you do and they're confused, they're not going to give you that follow that you want or they're not going to click the link that you want them to click, right? So let's spend a little bit of time in the back end of the insights. So here we are. And you can see that I have my impressions, over 36,000 impressions, which is pretty good, but I was busy uh, at Inbound last week at a big conference in Boston. I had a lot of activity, so my activity is down from last week, which does not concern me. Um, I'm more concerned about those impressions. Um, and so if you take your finger and you scroll, you can see the carousel move, right? Um, you can click on See More. And here you can see how many impressions each one of these posts got. So these are my top, um, these are my posts my, from the past seven days. And the, these are the impressions that I got from each post. And it goes from the most impressions to the least impressions, which is pretty cool. So you can look at your insights there. You can also view your followers. So where it says see more, I like to click on that. So this is really cool. So I hit 42,000 followers today, which is pretty exciting. Um, I was up. I typically get a good amount. Today's Tuesday. I get 200 plus, 100 plus every day. As you can see, I have 248. Most of the people that are attracted to me are female. No surprise there. Uh, the age range, you can see I'm from 25 to 54 is who, who is mainly attracted to my content. And then, of course, where they're from. So these are the top cities and these are the top countries. Pretty cool, right? So we have the United States, Australia, Canada, UK, and India. Then if you scroll down a little bit further, you can see your followers, okay, when they are engaging on your content. And you can look at every day. You can look at it on Monday and you can see um, the stats from Monday. You can look at it on Tuesday, like just every single day, it gives you the hour by hour play. Um, so I'm tapping on it, so that's tomorrow. Thursday, you can see the peak is midday around three. Fridays uh, swoops down, but typically uh, 6 p.m. to 9, 
and Saturday and Sunday. So these are insights from Instagram based on activity right in the app. You don't need to go to Facebook or any other third party app, but if you wanted to, the ones I recommend are Iconosquare and Algora Pulse and LocalWise. They're all great tools for looking at data. When you click on this little arrow on the bottom, it tells you what each one of these insights means. So the gender and the age clearly is obvious. Location, followers, the hours, the time of day. So that's for the followers. Also, if you scroll the carousel, you can look at your reach. So my reach this week, it's only Tuesday, it has been over 9,000 people. And I've had over 1,400 profile views, which is really cool. Again, I'm down from last week because I was at a mega conference. And then here are my clicks to my website as of Tuesday. So 107 clicks to my website. I typically get two to 250 people clicking. And that's really what you want, right? You want them to click in. You want them to click into your website and you want them to take action and grab whatever you're offering. For us, it is typically our Instagram strategy guide. This is our lead magnet. You want to make sure that it, it is mobile friendly, that it is not clickbait, that whatever you say that you're gonna deliver, you deliver, and you wanna make it pretty and attractive, and you wanna make it easy to understand what it is. Well, you guys, it's here waiting for you. It's the official Instagram strategy guide, and all you have to do is click to download it. I also add a little bio here. Um, because I add, actually I add a little information about how to use Instagram because I think, you know, this takes an opportunity for people to get to know me a little bit right on the opt-in. So I tell you what you get. And by the way, there's now 500 million monthly active users. So this, this needs to be updated. But when you, we tell you exactly everything that you're going to learn when you get our free guide because you want to give away something so good that people would actually say, oh my God, if it's free, I can't imagine what it would cost if I paid for it, right? So these are the four promises that we give in the free guide, why Instagram has become such a marketing powerhouse, um, where to start if you're new to Instagram, tips to grow your account faster than the wishing for follower strategy, and recommended accounts to follow for small, large, and personal brands. So we have three, and then there's my team. I think it's really important for everyone to know about my team and meet my team, and then we give a little bit of background about our team. So we take this often extremely seriously. We don't just throw up an image and say, see you later, take my link. We want you to get to know, like, and trust me. But like I said, you wanna make sure that it's really mobile friendly and easy to capture that email. So when we're not in our launch mode, which we will be going into soon, uh, we are building our list and when we're in launch mode we like trying to drive traffic to a webinar we are doing just that we're trying to get opt-ins to get people to sign up for a webinar and before we launch a, uh, a product or a course and this is my other account the SVZ team this is my team account this is a really really fun account for anyone listening that has a team and you want to see how we curate content as a team and you get a really good sense of our personalities and the engine behind me because honestly I am not a one pony show here, you guys. I would not be nearly as successful as I am if I didn't have Morgan and Rachel uh, as my, <laughs> seriously, as my bookends helping me with everything I do. So Rachel posted this today, which is awesome because it's a teaser post. So for those of you that have a launch or a campaign or you have something in the future that you're trying to get attention to, this is like a little tease, okay? So... Remember that one time we updated our course right before Instagram made major changes? Well, that's kind of funny because that always happens to us. Yep, that's pretty much what happens when you teach one of the hottest social media platforms. Currently working on the next round of major updates for Ready, Set, Graham, and duh, we'll clue you in when it's ready. So that's like a little teaser from the team, and that's a sense of our personality, like cracking up and doing a little photo dance, because that's what we do when we're together. And I'm always in the bright clothes, and Morgan and Rachel are kind of more the hipsters. Um, but we're always true to brand, and we just have a good time. I think it's really important if you have team members to showcase them on Instagram. So this is not a business account. This is a profile account. And to take you to my third account, the Instagram, um, I'm sorry, Subi Zimmerman, which is my personal account. And I also hit 42,000 followers here today as well. So this is an account 
where you really get a sense of my personality. You get to see my cute cockapoo Cody, who often is showcased in my Instagram stories that I'll talk about in a little bit. You also get to see some of like just my shenanigans, like where I'm shopping, what I'm doing. Um, Soul Cycle is a place where I work out and I just bought those Lulu pants. Um, I'll show you the weather because it's gorgeous here in New England this time of year. And I'll show you the view from my new apartment that I'm going to be moving into very, very soon in Boston, which I'm super excited about. And then I'll do some videos because videos on Instagram do really well, especially like high to low or low to high, where you can get, you know, people can get a real sense of your personality. So I basically was just trying to get a pulse on who was going to be joining me at Inbound, which is a, a conference here in Boston with over 19,000 people. So post after that, um, this is a fun boomerang, which is so, it's a one second GIF, one of my favorites. You can use it in the Instagram stories now, or you can create a GIF. And I'm, I'm here with my good friend, Vivica Von Rosen, who's the LinkedIn expert. And I always get a blowout, uh, sometimes like twice a week. So I'm kind of obsessed, but Vivica is just taking it all in, right? So that's a fun post. And then I always say, hey, never, ever, ever, ever post a blurry photo unless it's with Gary Vaynerchuk. <laughs> and I give you permission. Um, and this is really fun. I was holding my Instagram pillow at Inbound, this one here, not the one on the top shelf. And Gary knows who I am because we've shared a lot of information back and forth, but he doesn't like know me, know me like a friend. But he blew me a kiss and he's like, get over here. And we caught a selfie. Um, there were literally thousands of people around him. And this gives you a sense of that stage. I love that Gary gets down and dirty with his fans. He's literally on the ground taking selfies. DJ, uh, 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 D-Rock, D-Rock, <laughs> DJ D-Rock. D-Rock is his photographer who follows him around everywhere and he's capturing photos. And you can really get a sense of his hustle with heart signing autographs, signing books. And that's my pillow I just put in there. I love this shot. I think it's super fun. And it's gotten over 682 views, which is cool. And then um, I'm showing you a little bit more fun things. This is a flipogram. For those of you that don't know, it's a fun app where you can take a photo and create a flipogram by putting music and photos together. And this is Rebecca Radice and I having a good time um, on stage at Inbound after Peggy Fitzpatrick spoke. And then um, my good friends here, Ryan Dice and Michael Selzner. And I just actually met um, Christine Hines. I'm tapping them so you guys can all see. Christine Hines was one of the first social media experts ever. And she's good friends with Michael Selzner. And I had a private uh, VIP party at my husband's office that Ryan Dice hosted, which is pretty awesome. So we were just all smiles for miles. And that was a cute shot that I wanted to share. So this is a lot more of the human side of Sue B. Now, occasionally you'll see me giving shout outs to other people, other businesses and other brands, especially clients, or whenever we have a blog post, I post on Sue B. Zimmerman, I also post on the Instagram expert to drive traffic to our blog because we get more eyeballs on our blog, we can retarget with Facebook ads, and we can get more people to opt into our list. Our goal is to always delight and surprise people and grow our list. Um, this is another boomerang that was fun. I think it's really important to show like your true personality in every sense of the word. Um, I'm just as serious about doing everything to get ready to speak on stage, meaning blowout, you know, the blowout, the, the makeup, the, the new dress, as I am just hanging out and playing and I wear hats all the time. So this is a good sense of my personality. And then yesterday I had the pleasure of, of being on one of my good friends, uh, same background, you guys, as Brian Kramer, Brian with a Y, Kramer with a K, one on Instagram. And, oh, I didn't tag him, so I'll show, you how, I'll show you guys how to do that. So you can edit a post and you should tag anyone that you're talking about on the post. So Brian Kramer has a great uh, chat um, and he does it Mondays. It's called H, hashtag H2H chat. And he um, invited me on his chat yesterday. And I'm like, this is like when you're on the spot and multitasking, it's kind of hard. So it's, it's B with a Y, K with an R1. And so this is Brian's HGH. So you can move a tag anywhere you want. And you want to absolutely um, tag businesses or people or brands if you want to get their attention. Another tag is um, that I should put is where the magazine you can kind of see behind me, which is right here. Um, where women create business. I was on the cover of this magazine, which is a really cool magazine. It was right next to Oprah. 
and Vogue at uh, Barnes and Noble. I was pretty happy about that. I'm like, okay, I don't need to write a book now. <laughs> so, um, so I should be tagging them. I think their account is where, I think they have a couple. Let's see. Where Women Create Magazine. There's that. So there's their magazine right there. And then my good friend, uh, Holly um, Nichols, uh, Holly, eight, wait, Holly and I, here she is. Oh, I have a really good story. I go off on tangents a little bit, but it's in the spirit of teaching you guys all something. So I'm tagging and I'm moving this with my finger. And Holly, um, I'm going to tag her and then we'll tag one more artist. Uh, I think it's Fritz, F-R-O-F. -O oh, she's really good. She did this one. Oh, what's her? Oh, J-F, J-F, J-F. Let's get her. Okay, good. I'm going to tag them both. So she drew this drawing over here. You guys probably can see right here and Holly drew that one. I have people sending me drawings a lot, which is pretty cool. Um, when you tap on a photo and you tag it, they get a notification that they were tagged. And it's good to always tag brands and businesses in your photo. And as of last week, Instagram announced that if you, you can actually sell things and tag up to five products, which I'll show you in a minute that, that um, Tori Birch did today, which was really cool it hasn't rolled out to everyone yet just 20 of the top brands but when you tap on a photo um, you know that there's tags on a photo oh did it not save it why didn't it save it hold on edit oh yeah there 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 yeah so Holly Nichols uh, what's really cool cool about Holly is she came to me when she had under a thousand followers oh wait how come I didn't I have to show you guys her account you're gonna for anyone on here that's creative you're gonna be like OMG. So Holly had under a thousand followers. She had a personal account, not a business account. And she asked me at, at Massachusetts, um, it was a conference in Boston, Mass Massachusetts, uh, women's conference. And she sat at my round table and she's like, Sue, should I have a business account? I'm like, Holly, OMG, you are so talented. You definitely need wow. to have a business account. You are going to be a huge success. And I, I guessed it. I knew it. I knew it. Like Vogue's going to find her. All the designers are going to find her. Uh, she has an Etsy shop. She has, oh, now she has a half a million followers. Half a million followers. She's amazing. She lives here in Boston. I am so proud of her and everything she's accomplished. And she's rocking it. She is crushing it on Instagram. So if you're an artist, follow her. And also... Josefina, another artist like Holly, started um, a lot uh, with a lot less followers. She's growing st steadily, and she has her own little sense of style as well. Similar illustrators, uh, artists unite. I love celebrating artists. And then Brian Kramer, he's just here for personal. <laughs> Brian Kramer is a TED Talk um, speaker, and he's really awesome. And I've had the pleasure of being with him at Social Media Marketing World. But it's all personal there for Brian. So, uh, Where Women Create Business is a fabulous magazine. If you're an artist and you don't get this, you might want to check it out. And I was just so delighted to be featured on the cover. And this is just really uh, such a high end magazine. A lot like like a real simple magazine or like Oprah's uh, a real uh, real thing. Is it real? Yeah, real simple. And just really high quality magazine. So, any a little diversion with that, but that's part of my personal life. And as you can see in my bio, I have golden rules that I'm always preaching. So, community first, grow your community. I call them my colony because I'm Sue B and I have hives. So, always, always, always give shout outs to your community and celebrate other people. I always talk about hydrating. Chances are that you're probably thirsty and not hungry. And if you're an entrepreneur and you're sitting all day, you should be hydrating all day. And yes, I have a degree in nutrition. So there's a little fact for you. And then my other, my other role is move your ass. Like get out of your chair, go for a walk, go for a run. I was just on the exercise bike. Um, you, you've got to make time for yourself. Self-care is so important. And as of December 1st, I will be happily living in my apartment in Boston with that view. So there you go. A little bit about Sue B. Um, so I am always showing up, staying top of mind for business. That's my intention. In addition to your Instagram feed, which you want to make feel like a magazine, it's your digital magazine. And here, here you can see I literally am trying to look like the inspiration from the Instagram logo. That is what's driving all my new outfits. Everything that I wear is on point with Instagram. That's just part of my branding. And 
not, I love not hats as well. So yes, I wear bright clothes all the time. And this is the vibe of my tribe that I attract. In addition to your feed and all the things I'm talking about, you also have the opportunity now to do Instagram stories. And Darcy, I'll give you a link to my class. It's, it's, a, it's only $25. I don't know if anyone's interested, but it's an hour class. And I literally teach you everything you need to know about Instagram stories. So there are filters in the stories and there are writing utensils in the stories. And there are ways for you to get people to take action to click the link in your bio. And you really can humanize your business by taking people with you wherever you go. And because I travel a lot, um, I, I do that. So I'm talking about a tool called Later Media, which is a great tool for anyone that wants to schedule their Instagram posts. And Matt, who is the owner of Later Media, is gonna have me do an Instagram stories takeover, which is really cool, on their account. And he's gonna be one of my partners for my launch for Ready, Set, Graham, because you can use later to schedule your Instagram posts. Really, really cool platform. You can look at your grid and your and everything. Um, and when you put your finger on your Instagram story like I am, it stops it. So you can stop a story. And the cool update from Instagram is when you click a link, when you at mention anyone and you click a link, you can go right to their Instagram account from that link. And this is why it's so important to be linking on Instagram in your Instagram stories. So I talked about later media and then I talked about another fabulous platform for all of you that struggle with organizing your grid. Planoly is a tool to plan your Instagram grid, your, your whole feed and the vibe of your feed. And Puna, who is the owner of this company, um, is someone that I've uh, been connected to and I'm working with as well. So I always add a little bit of humor to my Instagram stories, um, and sometimes you'll see my dog Cody. It's kind of funny how the leaf landed on my head, the leaf's on his mouth. It's fall here in New England. You guys can kind of feel it, right? And then I wanted to speed up uh, a video and give a shout out to Wistia. Wistia um, is where we host our videos for our courses. So Wistia is another great account for you guys to go check out, and Ted Rubin, is a speaker and I, I gave Ted the hashtag Ted Socky. He's all about socks. So I thought it would be really fun for me to, um, to give a little shout out to Ted in my Instagram story because I was talking about socks. So you kind of need to think creatively like that. Okay, so here I am sharing content. Here I am talking about other tools that will help my followers do, uh, you know, create more content easily on Instagram. I'm always thinking on this account, how can I give more value? Now on the Subi Zimmerman, my personal, yes, I do Instagram stories there as well. This is from my interview yesterday with Brian. And then today, Cody and I went into the city and I forget what I'm talking. Oh, I talked about Tori Birch. So I talked about Tori Birch being the first ad that I saw in my stream with tags on it. You know, if I wanted to go buy that $995 dress, I could just click that link or her slippers, I could just click right in from Instagram. Cool. So if you are somebody that sells a product, you should be doing the Insta happy dance for sure. Now look at this photo, it's Instagram worthy, it's on point with what people expect to see on Instagram. And here after I showed that, after I got my hair done, um, I'm talking about the value of, of, of why you should be only engaging in content that you want to see on Instagram. The reason I saw the Tori Birch ad is because I engage on her content. I don't double tap like and engage to be nice. I do it, I leave comments on, on my clients and, and people I want to support, but I only want to see in my newsfeed fabulous content, okay? So I only follow 380 accounts on my expert account because when I go to my newsfeed, I want to see amazing visual content on every single post. I want inspiration for my business. I want to, I want to always think about how I can be more creative and better. And OMG, if you're an artist, this is a great shot by Gray Malin. I love him. He sells his art on eBay. Um, you know, this is a boomerang. This is, I, this is one of my favorite quotes that she has. I'm a ray of fucking sunshine. I think it's a <laughs> <laughs> like, the 
I think I need this jacket. This is so good. Because I swear, <laughs> I swear all the time. So this is really like I'm gonna double tap, and I'm gonna say like I like here you guys. This is what I do. I fucking love this. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's that's me and my potty mouth, and that might insult some people, but you know what? That's who I am. So there you have it. Um, but again, I'm only connected with people who. Um, here's here's a pretty good ad from Square Organic. Um, I, I love this account. I love these bars. I eat these bars. They're delicious. Um, often when companies like this have ads, they'll delete the ad so that the feed stays fresh and looks good after the ad campaign. Now, as you can see in the top right, I have four direct messages and probably because I'm doing something new where I'm sending people a video once they start following me. This is a new little thing I'm doing. So this person put a little heart that she liked it. So whenever I get a new follower, I am welcoming people, saying thanks so much for following me. Be sure to click the link in my bio. You'll get X, Y, and Z. And I wanted to give a personal touch. I did not want the video to be perfect. I wanted them to know I was outside and I was walking. And I think the more real, authentic um, you can be, the more believable you are. Now, look what happened with Later Media, you guys. Well, they love that I featured them in their story, right? Because they got a notification that I featured them, okay? And so now Later Media took note of that tag and is saying, awesome. Later Media is huge, and we are partnering together, so I love that they, that they did that. Um, so someone's sending me some information about another tool called Plan, and somebody's just giving me a heart that they liked that video. So I started sending videos. I get a lot of followers every day, you guys. I get about 100 at least on each account. So keeping up with my followers, I think this is a little tactic I'm going to have to give to one of my assistants, but I wanted to try it out to see how people felt, and it's been a really positive feedback. So every time, so here's what I do, you guys. So every time I get a follower, I'll go into the follower, and you can send a message, and I just did a new video downstairs here in the good lighting. Uh, I did a couple videos. Like, let's just say Sue had a good time. So let's go to the videos. Where are the videos? You guys, no judgment that I have 24,000 photos on my phone. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, oh, it's not long. Oh, here it is. So here it is. So I did this video. I'm like, hey, it's Subi. And it was good lighting. And I had like, this, someone made me this fabulous Instagram scarf. So I just send that. And I send it to, I look at people's accounts. Um, this account's private. Clearly, they shouldn't be. But you can just tap and you can find your video. You only have 15 seconds if you're gonna send a welcome video like this, so you have to talk really fast, which is not a problem for me. Might be for some of you. But all my new followers, see this is a new account, and all these new followers are great people for me to get on my list because I teach Instagram marketing to small business owners. And no one finds this spammy. It's not like I'm saying, buy, do this course or buy this thing or anything like that. I'm simply saying, Go ahead and um, grab my free guide. It's waiting for you. And I've been getting really positive response. But keeping up with all this, you guys, to be honest, is not what I need to be doing. <laughs> but it's like I just wanted to see the response. So it's that easy. I want you guys to see that it can be that easy to create a good video and share it with people and find out why they are following you. Now, most of you should be doing just that. You, sh you should be simply saying, Thanks so much for the follow. Let me know why you started following me. What was it about my post that you like or my bio or something? Because there's a lot of people that just follow you and hope that you're going to follow them back. And if you don't, they unfollow you in two days. Like there's this whole follow me, follow you thing going on. I don't buy into any of it. As you can see, I only follow 380 accounts. I follow accounts that give me value. And on my personal account, I do follow some of my clients. I follow more accounts there. But let's look at the difference of the feed on my personal versus my business. So on my, on my personal, I mean, most of them are good, but, but they're, not, you know, they're not all fabulous. Like the quality of this is not that good, right? It's just not. I just know her, and I like following her. Uh, this is the camp my kids went to. It's, <laughs> so there's just not as many... Not as many accounts. Some of them are showing up twice. So I should take off the ones that, are, that I'm following on both. But anyway, that is really a whirlwind of how to set yourself up for success for business. 
and some ninja tips for you guys. Um, Darcy, if you have anything, any holes that I'd left, let me know and I'll fill them in. Sure. I mean, I think, I mean, you really covered that really succinctly and thank you so much because I think just having like the business um, Instagram account, you know, your personal and seeing the difference, the branding. I love the way you do the branding. Um, there's a couple of things you mentioned there in terms of using Boomerang, using Flippogram. I think they're great tips for people. Um, there was one or two you mentioned then as well in terms of was it Agora Pulse, Connor Square and was it local wise? Local wise, yeah, and I just want everyone to look at the screen for a second. So this is from my video. Hello, Subi, I'm quite a neophyte with all this social media. I love the video with you and Sunny. Thanks for reaching out. So Great. Sunny Subi is somebody that I, I've done uh, business with. Uh, thanks, I'm wanting to learn how to grow my Instagram. So, so most of the time, you guys, I'm getting positive reinforcement from, from all of my efforts, which ultimately leads to opt-ins. Oftens, oftens, oftens. Grow your list, grow your list, grow your business. That's what happens. So I love that this tactic is relatively, uh, it's something I had done in the past, but I, I stopped doing it because it was just taking a lot of time. But as you can see, I think it's something I really need to incorporate again in as part of my strategy. Yeah. I mean, I think it's amazing. Look, to be honest, I think you've covered everything, um, Sue. Um, I think, you know, you were telling, saying about your course. Can you just tell people, and I can share it in the group and share it on the email, but can you just remind people um, about stories? Yeah. I bought that myself. It's awesome. But what, what, just, what courses have you available at the moment that people can buy into? Because I think no, people I really need to work want, on this. Yeah. So I, what I would like more than anyone, every, anything is for people to opt into my guide, suedezimmerman.com slash guide that will give the free download guide that I talked about. It's on my website. And the okay. reason because I'd rather you get on my list and I'd rather nurture the relationship because at the end of the month, the beginning of December, we are launching again our flagship course, Ready Set Graham, and we're going to be doing 10 webinars. Wow. And I'm going to show you guys the people that we're doing them with so that you can all you can connect with all of them because they're all amazing people. So Lisa Larder is one of our partners. She's amazing. You might know Lisa. Yeah, she's great. Uh, Later Media, who I showed you earlier. Steve Dotto, my good friend in Canada. Um, Dotto Tech. Oh, I put Steve first. And Dotto Tech is another partner. And, of course, my, my good friend, and I was just with Peggy. You guys probably all know her well, Peggy Fitzpatrick. So we have four affiliate partners for this launch, and then we are doing six webinars. So 10, ten webinars. <laughs> ten webinars, and we know that the money is in these webinars, you guys. So we have mastered webinars for our business, and we know in order to have a good launch what you need to do. And uh, I say whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Excellent. So people can go to your website, subizimmerman.com. Is that where they're going to find the... Um, guide slash guide. Find? Yes. Unless they're on Instagram, most, most often the guide is on Instagram as well. You can, you can get Perfect. it from, if you're listening to this on mobile or if you're listening uh, on your desktop, it's just probably easier to go to my website. But yeah. we try to make it easy. You want to be, you want to keep it simple and easy and you want to really be clear in all of your call to actions and your descriptions. You wanna make people wanna take action um, or you wanna tell a story. So I'll just leave with that. So my favorite thing to do is teach others how to have success in their business by using the power of Instagram. Today I had the pleasure of being a guest on Brian Kramer show, human to human chat and teaching hundreds of people about the key elements of Instagram marketing for business. If you wanna up your game and, and show up to attract those you are meant to be doing business with and click the link in my bio so in order to get people to click that link often Darcy it's so good to give a story that aligns with the visual so I, like I was in the moment of teaching when this photo was taken and I love how it represents the focus of, of my conversation I was having with him which is was all about how to how to do niche marketing how to really stand out in your greatness doing what you love and step and 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 standing out from everyone else that does what you do. Because let's face it, you guys, there's a lot of people teaching Instagram marketing out there. So, you know, how can I show up every day and teach the tactics where you'll get the results? And that's why I love doing interviews whenever I can, because I can now reach Darcy's uh, community that I normally wouldn't have reached. And so this is another tactic that you should always say yes to any opportunity to, to amplify, broadcast, and promote.
Yeah. But I think the other thing as well, Sue, is like you are excellent at what you do. I mean, to my mind, you are the foremost um, Instagram expert. So, I mean, in fairness, your teaching style is amazing. Um, I literally, you know, I love learning. and I've been to every course you can probably think of under the sun, um, master's degree and all the rest of it. And seriously, like your teaching style is amazing. So I highly recommend anybody to sign up to any of your courses because, you know, I think even in this short space of time, I mean, you d delivered value bombs left, right and center, you know, I feel like just pause, stop, pause, write down. <laughs> so yeah, I can, you know, it's, it's partly because I can, I'm going to stop, I'll um, stop the share. Sure. It, it's, because I can literally talk about Instagram marketing all day long. There's so much to it. It's, it's, you know, and it's the, everyone says it's their, it's the platform where they have the most fun. And so I am, I love what I'm doing clearly and it's fun to me and I am on other social channels and I amplify on those. But if you figure out your greatness on Instagram, because uh, it's so important, especially with stories now, because Instagram projects there to be a, mil a billion users in two more years. So wow. it's just a, a great, and they're adding those links where you can go shopping and it's just so much more user friendly. Like every update, every update that I've witnessed the past six months has been for a po more positive user experience. The problem is people just do uh, post random shit all day long on Instagram and they get random results. And you can't do that. You have to have a plan and you have to be intentional and you have to think through your strategy and you can't just be popping up random photos thinking that people are going to start following you. And if they do start following you, is that the photo and the reason that you want them to follow you? Yeah. Is, is Gary Vaynerchuk's quote the reason you want someone to follow you? Yeah. No, it's not because his followers are not your followers. So if you're going to be posting quotes, they have to align with your business and your brand as well. Yeah, I love that. And that's why I love talking to you, Sue, actually, because with the 18 businesses, with all the years of experience, you're bringing that to the table. So it's not just about Instagram. It's actually, you've actually amalgamated, um, is it, what is it, 22 years, which is amazing, of business into yeah. Instagram training. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I've been feeling hard my whole life. Uh, always doing what I love. But I think Instagram's so special and so opportunistic. Um, and if you if you travel and you're at the airport and you look and see what people's mobile habits are, eight out of 10 people, in my opinion, are on Instagram. Yeah. And I can see people hugely moving because I'm based in Ireland and we tend to be slightly behind the States, but I even noticed, you know, um, over the last year and a half, you know, the way it tells you your Facebook friend has joined Instagram and it's like, oh my gosh, they're all moving, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's amazing to watch. Uh, yeah, for sure. keep coming. Definitely yeah. keep it coming. I, yeah, I knew, I knew it was going to be huge and that's why I started teaching it. Um, so many years ago, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let your, your viewers know also over on YouTube, everyone starts somewhere, you guys, everyone starts somewhere. And when I did my very first video over on YouTube, when I claimed that I was going to be the Instagram expert, uh, it's such a funny video. It's called, you can link that up. They'll, your, your followers get a kick out of it. Uh, it's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm the Instagram gal and I'm going to teach the world how to use Instagram. And I just like staked my claim and owned it. And like, here I am four plus years later, yeah, you got to hustle hard to have what you want, but it goes by fast and you can become very successful in your niche. And it's so true, Darcy, that the riches are in the niches if you really focus on your special gift. Yeah, for sure. And I love that. And the fact four years later, look at you now, my goodness, um, social media marketing world inbound last week. I mean, every time I'm looking on social media, I'm like, wow, she's, was it Entrepalooza you were at? Um, oh, Entrepalooza. Yeah, I spoke there and Ryan Dice invited me to speak at uh, Traffic and Conversion. And, oh, wow. And, which is going to be a great stage for me. I'm excited. Yeah, I love speaking and teaching, as you can tell. So and traveling so yeah. that's the biggest perk and i get to buy new outfits all the time to <laughs> i love it <laughs> well you've got to come to ireland sometime and if you are you've got to come and visit um so i've, I've been telling them about because um, one of the other speakers she's organizing a social media um summit here like a live one here in ireland she had ted rubin and a couple of people um yeah, heard last about it. year i would totally come so tell it so, i did <laughs> so hold that space <laughs> <laughs> cool great well listen Sue I know you're running off um, you're really crunched for time I really really appreciate you doing this again um, if there's anything I could do for you in the future let me know and guys reach out to Sue follow Sue on Instagram she is the expert as you can see so again thank you so much Sue and I hope to talk to you very soon you're welcome thank you so much